Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I am Tim Lam, a self-taught and full-time filmmaker. Today, we are looking at the Holyland Cosmo 600 wireless video transmitter. Bottom line, the kit is very well made and very reliable. From the custom inserts to the custom hard case, and of course, the super solid wireless system that is very well built. Everything on the housing is made out of metal except for the battery plate. Inside the box, you find the Cosmo 600 transmitter and receivers, unadjustable clamp, a magic arm, three antennas. You only need two for your transmitter, but it was nice of Holland to include an extra antenna. There are also two D-tap to Limo cables to power your system. The Cosmo 600 system is very easy to use. It takes about 10 seconds for them to connect after you power it on. The HDMI and SDI ports are flushed in, so nothing is sticking out, making them less likely to break. The system is very well thought out and I can see this lasting me for a very long time. The transmitter has an L-series battery plate which allows you to use Sony MPF batteries and I love this because Sony MPF batteries are some of the most versatile batteries on the market. And I'm sure most of you out there already have these laying around and if not, they're pretty affordable to buy. The transmitter has an HDMI in, an SDI in, and an SDI loop out. On the receiver, you have one HDMI out and two SDI out. The system is very quiet. There's basically no fan noise. The transmitter and receiver does get a little hot, but that's normal with these wireless systems, so don't be alarmed. There's no indication of how much battery you have left unless you're using a V-mount battery or a Go-mount battery with a P-tap to Limo connection to power your system then you can check the battery levels on the V-mount battery or the Goldmount battery itself. Let's talk about latency. Here, we were using my Red Raven with the SDI out on the camera. The latency is very little. On paper, the latency is less than one millisecond. Technically, you're still sending a video signal from point A to point B, so there will always be some kind of delay. But as you can see in this video, it is very minor. Here's another test on a recent gig where I was using the Sony a7 III. During this shoot, the video feed did drop once, but after I changed it to a different channel, it was working fine again with no video dropouts. Another test with the latency on the Sony a7 III camera. As you can tell by my face, I'm pretty happy with the system. I was helping a friend prep for his upcoming shoot. We paired the Cosmo 600 with his Red Gemini and tested to see how well the wireless system holds up between walls. This thing is amazing. We got clean signals, of course, the video signal would not go through thick brick walls or a bunch of metal. We also had my friend pool focus in a separate room and everything worked out great. In my opinion, the latency is low enough to where the AC can still nail the focus accurately. All the numbers in the name are associated with the maximum distance in feet. For example, I have the Cosmo 600, which has a maximum range of 600 feet in clear line of sight. There's also the Cosmo 1000, which has a range of 1000 feet, and the Cosmo 2000, which has a range of 2000 feet. At the time of the making of this video, the Holland Cosmo 600 cost $1,700. There are more expensive and cheaper kits out there, depending on your needs and what your budget is. Right now, there's the Holland Mars 300, which is pretty popular. It retails for $500. Of course, you will lose the range, there will be more latency, and you will miss out some other features. The Cosmo 600 receiver comes with a V-mount battery plate, but if you do want a Sony MPF battery adapter for your receiver and transmitter, you can reach out to Hollyland and put in a special request. Now, if you happen to get a V-mount battery adapter on your receiver and you don't have any V-mount batteries, what you can do is buy Sony MPF 2 V-mount battery adapters, and that will work just fine with your receiver. In my opinion, the Hollyland Cosmo 600 is one of the best and most affordable wireless HDMI and SDI transmitter on the market. There are other companies on the market that charges you a lot more if you want both HDMI and SDI, but Hollyland decided not to do that, and they also included a Sony MPF mount. That's a winner in my book. Full disclosure, Hollyland did send this unit to me for reveal, but they did not pay me to say any of these. I made sure I went out to use this personally and professionally before doing this video. So I hope it brought some value to you. You can find the link to the Holland and Cosmo 600 below. Don't forget to smash that like button. 
if you found this video helpful. We are very active on social media, so please give us a follow, drop a comment, send us a DM, and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.